Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing in Dallas, Texas once again. I want to talk about something. I know you, I got you staring at this wood veneer clear coated trim and I kind of want to talk about a couple of different things. Um, one, pricing out your packages, your auto detailing packages if you happen to be a professional. What I notice a lot in auto detailing, been doing it for a long time, um, some of my customers will ask me, Scott, you seem to be more expensive than most. Why? Well, there's reasons for that. I stand in my knowing. I know my truth. I know who I am. I know what services I provide. And I know the value I give to my customers. But here's another deal. When I price out my packages, here's a tip for you. Most of you may know this already. It's easier to go down in price than it is to go up. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look at my packages, if you happen to float on my website, or maybe if my customer gets on my website and asks me, why are you more expensive than others? This is one of the ways I explain it to them, is I don't upcharge for things. I don't upcharge for cleaning the headliner. I don't upcharge for applying a fabric guard to the cloth seats, the carpet, the headliner, whatever it is. And the reasons for that, as a detailer, when I look at a car and I'm doing, let's say it's just an interior cleaning or even if it's a full package, I look at the car in its entirety. I believe that every part of the car needs to be cleaned and detailed to the best of my ability. But here's my point about upcharging or trying to provide services within your menu, hoping that your customers grab it and then you can make a little bit more money. For me, I include a lot of what professional detailers would upcharge for. And the reason for it is if my customer comes across my website or talks to me about certain needs or budgets they have, they're working with, it's much easier for me to tell them, hey, listen, look at my menu. What doesn't make sense to you, just tell me what you don't need and I can price it accordingly. I'm not in business to lower my prices, that's not how I work, but I certainly am compassionate, understanding that everybody's needs are different. It's hard to have one package fits all, but my point is, is if you're hoping that they look at your other services and they'll bite on them and include them in a package that they've already, they're already interested in working with you on, it's just too difficult. It's too difficult to get more money for your services. So for me, in my world, you might want to think about it. I include it all in the package. If my customer says that's a little bit more money than I wanted to spend, I'll say to them, well, look at my menu. Tell me what doesn't make sense to you. Maybe you don't need your headliner cleaned. Maybe you don't need fabric art applied to your upholstery. Maybe that's not important to you. I can take those little pieces out, and then I can adjust the price accordingly. Because some of my customers will say to me, I want to use you. I want your skill set. I want your passion. I, I want your desire to make my car pop, sing, whatever, but I just can't afford you. I am compassionate. I am understanding. I'm flexible. But basically, it's one of the reasons why I don't upcharge for things. I can always take things out of my menu. That's just a little tip. If that makes sense in your world, run with it. I think it, it works in mine and it works great. But here's a deal I want to talk about. Wood veneer. Wood veneer clear coated trim that's in this car. This happens to be my Lincoln Navigator. I use it all the time for my videos because there's a lot of material in here and a lot of great videos I can make for you guys to help you out. Or if you're a car enthusiast, you might not think about what I'm about ready to do here to this wood veneer. But let's say I came across this car. Let's say this wasn't my Lincoln Navigator. I quoted the customer a price. I come to their home. Everybody's happy. And all of a sudden I realize, or maybe it's a BMW, a high-end Mercedes, or a Bentley, and I notice that it's got this wood veneer clear-coated trim all the way around the doors, on the dashboard. And if you notice sometimes on these cars, what will happen, this happens to be right by the glove box. A lot of people are grabbing the glove box handle. They might be scratching this wood veneer. I've seen people drive down the road in the passenger seat and put their feet up on, on the dashboard. Maybe they're scratching it with the bottom of their feet. I don't know. But these things can get hammered. They're almost like B-pillars on the outside of the car. They can get really difficult. They can get really nasty looking. I will look at this wood veneer after I've quoted my customer price, come to their home, 
thank them, tell them how grateful I am to work on their vehicle, I'll look at their car, okay, great, everything looks fine. This might be an area, yes, I'm going to clean it, yes, I'm going to detail it, I'm probably going to put some spray wax on this or maybe some type of paint sealant to provide protection, but if it's really scratched up and hammered and I notice it's on all four doors and around the dashboard, this is an opportunity for me, what, to make a little bit more money. But it's not about being greedy. It's not about trying to milk my customer for every dime. What I'm about to do is value. It restores the vehicle. It raises its value. This could be important for some customers to have this completely dialed in, if you will, and get all the scratches out of it. Because again, it's got clear coat on it. You can compound it. You can polish it. You can do whatever you want with this stuff, just like you do on the outside of the paint. And for me, when I look at this Lincoln Navigator, it's all the way around the dash, it's all the way around the side of the doors. I may say to the customer, hey, I'll use a dual action polisher with a compounding pad on it and use the right type of compound or polish and really get out those scratches, really restore this trim all the way around the vehicle. And the customer may say, Scott, how much? I don't know, $40, $50 on top of what I've already quoted you. The customer will look at that and go, you know what, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even realize you could do that. I just figured you would clean it, detail it, maybe hit it with a spray wax and that would be it. That $40 or $50 extra to me is great, right? I've got to put food on a table, pay bills, but it's more important to the customer. They're really going to see value in this. They're going to sit in their car and see this area no longer scratchy. It's not a game of smoke and mirrors. I'm not selling them snake oil. It's not me trying to be greedy and make more money. This is value, and it's sitting right in front of you. Some of you professional detailers, you just got to ask. You got to say, hey, do you want me to take care of that? So what I'm going to use... HD Speed, you've heard me talk about this stuff before. I'm in love with this stuff. This stuff, guys, if you haven't used this before on the outside of the car, B pillars, whatever, this stuff works great. Why does it work great on the interior? Virtually no dusting to very little dusting, if any dusting at all. I don't have to worry about dusting on the inside of the interior when I use it on these wood veneer clear coats. It also polishes, it corrects to some level the scratches that might be in this clear coat. It also lays a layer of protection down. So for me, I'm going to lay tape all the way around the trim. I don't want to get any polish or compound, however you want to look at it, on the trim. But really quickly, for me, it's a 10-15 minute job to put tape all the way around the wood veneer, all the way around this car, and then quickly dial it in with a HD speed and a compound, uh, a, a a buffing pad on a three inch backing plate and this is cool and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to shake up my HD speed. I'm going to put a little bit on the pad, a couple little drops. You've, if you watched my headlight restoration video, good for you, two thumbs up. My god that was long but I'm trying to help you guys. I put a bunch of dots on it like a 16 year old kid's got bad acne and then I'll set my polisher down to two. I'll go ahead and lightly tap the polish over the wood veneer and then I'll turn my polisher on. It's on speed two. I just want to spread out the product and this is how it would look. So there you go, I got the polish spread out on the wood veneer panel that's clear coated. I'm going to speed up my DA to about 4 or 5. I don't have to be overly aggressive here, light pressure, just work the HD speed over the wood veneer clear coated finish and get some really nice pop, restore this clear coat, remove some of those scratches from people putting their feet on the dashboard, grabbing the handle, whatever, they, they might be scratching this up. So this is what it would look like.
And there I go. I know it looks funny, right? I'm using a dual action polisher inside the car, but if you think outside the box, make your life easier, you can dial these wood veneer trims in, and then I just go in lightly with a microfiber towel. I'm not trying to, you got to remember HD Speed lays a layer of protection behind, which is, I think it's Montane Wax, which is a kind of a fossil wax found in the earth. It's organic. But HD Speed works really well. I had a little bit of dusting because I didn't clean my pad from the last time I used it. But if I had a fresh pad, or a, a, a fresh compounding pad that was clean, look at me, I'm trying to help people out and I'm using a... It wasn't dirty, it just had some light residue and debris from another compound. But here I go, I go in there, clean that up, just trying to make a video to help you guys understand how this works. But that wood veneer, I don't know if it's showing on the camera, I have just taken it to like a level six or seven and raised it to a level eight or nine. My customer's gonna walk in and look at this and say, my God, that almost looks like the day it was brand new. Yes, there's a little bit of work. You want to trim up, you want to tape up all the trim. You don't want to get any polish or residue on the trim. But really, it takes me 10 minutes to tape up all the trim around the vehicle, go over these trim pan over these panels, dial them in on top of detailing the cars. This stuff will stand out. It will pop. My customer will sit in this car and go, holy crap, I haven't seen it that way. It might even look better than the day they bought it brand new. Simple little trick. Do you have to upsell or upcharge for everything? I don't think so. Figure out what works in your world. It's easier for me to come down. My price, my customers like to be able to select what they want out of my menu. They'll pull stuff out that they don't need, they don't appreciate, they don't value. That's fine. I'll adjust my price. I'm not going to try to get people to come up. It's just too hard. It's 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 psychology 101. Plus, when I come to customers, I look for areas like this. And again, it's not, snow, it's not snake oil. It's not me trying to grab them by the throat and ask for more money. I don't want to look greedy. This really does add value. And I can take scratches right out of this and restore it. My customer's happy. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It's a great way to make some extra money. You decide. Maybe you want to do this for $30 all the way around the car. Around the car. $40, $60. I don't know. You have to determine that for yourself and the, and the customer you're dealing with. But that's a great way using HD speed inside the interior of a vehicle. Just wanted to do, do a quick video and show you that. I appreciate it, guys. Be kind to one another. Love one another. Again, it all comes back to you. Until next time, please be safe. Appreciate all of you. I am grateful. Love all the comments I'm getting. Thank you for your support. Take care, guys. Until next time, please be safe.